there, Upworlder. You want to see what I got for sale in my inventory? Or do you need something else? Yeah, it ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the Promised Land. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use, and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the Rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down, along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the Upper City. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace, a life devoid of all hope but one, the Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, 
My apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. I have nothing to offer if you help me in this. I hope the knowledge that you are helping the entire village escape a life of darkness and suffering is reward enough. I see. Well, perhaps you are not the savior I seek after all. I can only pray that if you find the journals, you will have a change of heart and bring them to me. I saw you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends about the Promised Land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. I don't want you to kill Rukul. He's not the problem. It's those damn explorers that went before him. What if they actually found something? They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the explorers, and the one from Rukul's apprentice. Then I can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me, and I'll give you a decent reward. Now, was there something else you needed? Oh, it... it There, Upworlder. You want to see what I got for sale in my inventory? Or do you need something else? I knew Rukul's legend about the Promised Land were true. Quick, give me those journals so I can destroy them! Right, your reward. Here's 100 credits. That's a pretty hefty payment for some old notes and maps, eh? Well, I don't want Rukul to get his hands on them journals. I'll give you 200 credits. That's all I have. Excellent. Now Rukul will never lead these people to the Promised Land. Now, is there something else you need? You want to look at my inventory? False prophet! Deceiver! You have betrayed me! You have sold the hope of the entire village to the selfish and damnable Igiar! All I have worked for is destroyed. 
All the hopes and dreams of my father and grandfather before him turned to dust. Begone, upworlder. I have only curses to speak at you. Hey there, upworlder. It ain't the...
Watawama Mulira, King Kunjo Peshak, Noba Muliraji, Johnny Yuturunchi, we eat a dear Bola Una Chinek, Bamulirat Slimo Anga Kunbis King Tonga Bugsham Uninong. Wanga kun bist king, ba mulira. 
Chuni yun tun ji ji ai tha do anna ka va vol pa mul jui ka manna ta kom ju stak mi ki grabal mogo ka chi chu ai tha odonga tol pa da bonk molia gando da na go chut chut moga shampong pa bola wanna chikni ba mul ne slik mo po da na wanga kun bist muli ra best ka chi chu ai tha odonga in kin kuno ba muli rachi kun slima podona rundi hodonga kun hunkabi chi bedwana ni bobo tonk nabung shanun yang tonk patoga smaktelia kuya mi jus kachita nai patoga ya fulki kukula jiji Kawana bota a ayut tagwa kankidora ti kun watati manai zabola ta bistu bon kon ki pangpa ching pala chiska muli tuni rana no prata dunk no sarcha doma wama kun bestoma ni shakti lorcha kin kun no ba muli raji kun konti chani Muli ra shong turung umni patoga wan ka chone tize ikratu hatu chiche ya watayuma ka wama huhanek tonga bug sham uninong wanga kun beast king ba muli ra chuni yun ton chiche ya tha do ana ka va vol pa mul jui ka mana Chi bedwana ni bobo donk na Takum just tak miki grabal mogo Kachi chu ai tha donga tulpa da bonk molia gando da nago chuchut Moga shampong pa bola wanna chikni Bamul ne slik mo poda na wanga kun bist muli ra best Tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang ninkotu. Tol ba da bung kual ya gando da nago chuchut. Ka chi chu ai tha haudunga. Yumalith ka inkotun. Chilo mulara de ne bobo. Munga kun biskang. Ba mulara. Ka chi chu ai tha haudunga. In kin kuno ba mulara chikun. Slima podona. Rundi hodonga kun hunkabi. Achuta, wonga kun pistol piki in kunyana, tong patoga smaktelia.
怪。Oh. 
Ajuta.
On it. Done. Jus Kajita, Naipatoga ya Fulki, Kukula Jiti, Kawana Bota, Aayut Tagwa, Kankidora Tikun Watati Manaithabula. Breshik stole that engine from Gadden. It was never yours to begin with. Kavadum Pakun Paliya Moka Pata! Bona Night Kachu! Yinkin Kunoba Muli Rachikun, Tongna Punsha Nyunyang! Wanna check Yomi? Wanna vota contitariti? Chichin toma tunka cola yame tua? Na 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 kanki chiki nai potoka. Na wanna bota. Kachichu aitha hodunga. In kin kuno ba muli ra chikun. Slima podona. Rundi hodunga kun hunkabi. Tonga bug sham uninong, wanga kun beast king ba mulira. Juni yun tun jiji ay thaduana, kavavol pa muljui, kamana. What? You can't betray Gadden. I won't let you. 
Jashank Pogra Hul Wanchiska Niju. Ajuba Jiska Wanki. Ti toki gratuk kun ticha kun king ka chona pro. Pogra walya nabung sha. Nek chichona chupa king lorda aitha kun. No, that, that's not true. You're lying. Mana mana tota. Akuchi gratuk pola. Jishok chona tong chung king no una pang pa mulira kun kili. Kun kili no ba. What a timanyo cola, una no ku mulira. They. they said I was too young. Shagji kin lord jawata uma? Kava volpa mulji gumana. Kin kun shachi king, ni kin kun oba mulira jikun? Wama kun bes, chin pala muji. Tunira nu prata dunko, sercha domandoma? Well, yeah. Some of them were. But you folkers have tried to kill me more than once. Takum justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu aithao donga, tulpada bonk molya gando danago chuchut. Moga shampunkpa, bolawana chikni. Bamul neslik mo poda na wanga kun beast mulira best. But, but Gadden said Brezik. Kipuna! Puna na kachu. Kimba no mulina na duana. Don kin ba no kun nek, kava dun pa kun paliya mukata, wanga kun bis king ba mulira, kakin cha na kuag ba kun, kava dun pa kul paliya potenya. You're right. I don't need anyone but Zalbar. If Gaden dies, he's only getting what's coming to him. Tonghai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang inkotu. Tolba da bunk waliagando da nago chuchut, kachi chuai tha haudunga. Yumalith ka inkotun, jilo mulra de ne bobo. Unko kun biskang, bamulara, rundi haudunga kuhunga bi. Wana kun bes, jink palamul, tong king ba na kongkek. Tung ting ta chun kun nek muli rabest. Ta bist yu bong kon ki pang pa. Ching pala chiska muli. Tu ni rana no prata dung no sarcha doma wama kun bestoma. Ni shak ji lor jakin kun no ba muli raji kun. Kuya mi juz kachita, naipatoga ya fulki, kukula jiji. Kawana bota, aayut tagwa. Kankidora tikun watati manay thabula. Ui itha nadana itya. Watayuma kawama huhanik. A shonk turong umnipatoga. Wana kun bes ching pala mul tongi. Smilia, ti umpa do punta krita. Topa na oto vas casa. Achuta! Wanga kun pistol piki in kunyana. Tong patoga smaktelia. I'm here. What? I'll show you! Hmm? Thank you. 
what?
I saw what you did. You gave those journals to Aegir. I will never find the promised land. How could you do that, you monster? Just get away from me. I don't want to speak to you again. Welcome back, Upworlder. I'm surprised to see you again. Why have you come in? As you wish, Up. Welcome back, Up. Why have you. You are generous to offer this to us, Upworlder. You have my thanks. But I know nothing of administering the serum. You should bring it to the village healer. As you wish, Up. Please, help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. At any moment, we could... Uh, no! This cannot... No! <laughs> Please, please, you have to help us. We beg you. We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. We can't end up like them. We have the rat ghoul disease. It is only a matter of time until we are transformed into terrible creatures like those who attacked you when you first came into the pen. It is too late for them. Soon it will be too late for us, and we will transform into those horrible rat ghouls ourselves. Back again. Farewell. Yes, what's on your mind? You got... Hey there, what can I... Terrace is a pretty... Hey, no problem. Welcome to the equipment in because of the Sith quarantine.
Welcome because You were lucky to win the last match, but luck is no substitute for skill in Paza. I'm going to enjoy relieving you. Pazak is not quest if you You were lucky
Kazaki. If you have... You are lo I'm going to... To win the left. Question? Goodbye. I do not lose a puzzle. I have not been able to figure out how, but I know you're cheating. I'm simply too good to lose this often, and I refuse to play Pazak with a cheater. Jeez. Sore loser. I haven't seen this much whining since I gave Zalbar a bath. You can leave now, cheater. I won't be wasting any more time with you. I do not lose a Pazak very often. I have not been able to figure out how, but I know you're cheating. I'm simply... You can leave now. I saw your match against Niklos. He doesn't lose very often. I bet you could make a lot of credits as a professional Pazak player. I do not lose at Pazak. Goodbye, cheap. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by, to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years. But we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match in this corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle. Bandit Star Killer. And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious stranger. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin!
This is great. You'll be Bendik. You're a legend. Whenever anyone asks, I can say I was the first duelist the mysterious stranger ever beat in the ring. I'm gonna be famous. I don't think you had a chance against Bendik, but you sure showed me. You showed us all. Too bad your career as a duelist is over now. I mean, nobody's gonna be stupid enough to go up against you anymore. Not even Twitch. Kind of funny, isn't it? You win the big match, and you kill your career. Congratulations, stranger. I never thought anyone would beat Starkiller. Did you know it was because of him that I became a duelist in the first place? As a little girl, I used to dream of meeting him one day. When I finally did, the guy was a complete slime ball. It made me realize I had to be cold and ruthless to survive. Like him. And now, he's dead. There's probably a lesson in there somewhere. Something for me to think about, at least. Congratulations again, stranger. And goodbye. Pretty soon, all of Terrace will be talking about how you beat Bendik in that fight, stranger. You're famous now, but that's not necessarily a good thing. The more well-known you are, the more chance the Sith will take an interest in you. And nobody wants that kind of attention. No, of course, of course. No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while we...
E cucuno no babulera de cun. Back again. Well, ever since I was banned from the upper can. Axe. Well, in our last match, but I think your luck may be about excellent.
You played well? If you... Back again. You did well enough. If you're back again, Act
You played well. If you're back again, You did well in our life. If you ever back again, excellent. You did well enough. If you ever
You have returned. Do you have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. A reward? I'm blind, but I'm not stupid. Your reward is the chance to ride in the big swoop race so you can win Bastila's freedom. We had a deal, and I expect you to honor it. If we don't honor our deals, what's to stop me from just taking the prototype from you and leaving you for dead? Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gaddon, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator isn't stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. Explode? Are you crazy? Why would we risk riding that thing, then? I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts, and you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track.
Chopa chawi ti chop twis yun kun, watu yama kama wona henak nek, bugra shak kun si chi wa um chawa, dong abuk shami no no, shag ji kina lorcha watam wana, kin kun shi shi kin, ni kin kun ban mula ra ji kun, wama kun best ching pala mule, tune rana nu prata, dong ko searcha domatama? Con muli slimo poi wanga con visgin, chi ita kangi changa kilikon, in kuin kuka kimba ni chaloda kun, kun abashun ni chun chi, kakin cha nawabakaon, changwaba chinyo, shangi chama ucha, wishu yon kun, kongi kwama chi. Rundi haudonga ku hungabi, wana kun mes, jing palamul tong kimba na kongek, tung ting ta chun kun mek muli rabest, tong hai tuam jiji yumalit pa ang ninkotu, tulbada bung walya gando da nago chuchut, kachi chu ai sa haudonga, yumalit ka ninkotun, jilo muli rade ne bobo. Kokun biskang bamulara. Takung jus tak miki grabul moko kacicu. Kuyabi just kuna jitanai. Ina kun mama ruli ra ra jikun. Slimo patona. Rundi hodonga chikokabi. Jawana bota ayua tahonga chakanki dora. Kachi kui tahodonga. Topa da bung wali agando do nado chuchu. Musha papropa. Bola wana chikne. Bamuli slimo boda wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes. Chiska du suki kumba na bona nai kachu. Abdu inkotu. Topa da bung wali agando nado chuchu. Kabachi kui tahodonga. Ya la mo in kapun, jilo ba muli ra ni bobo. Wango kung bes ka kain, ba ma ma muli ra. Cha wana bota ayua ta honga cha kanki dora, ka chi kui ta hodonga. Topa da bong wali agando do na no chut chut. Musha pa pong pa, bola wana chik ne. Ba muli slay mo o boda wanga kung bes muli ra ra bes. Kuya mi chus kuna chik tanai. Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun, slimo patona, rundi ha donga chikon kapi. Uba patu konchi, tong nong bong chong nung yang, tong katok smak delia.
Chopa chawi ti chop twist yun kun atu yama kama wona henak neck bugra shak kun ti chiwa um chawa dong abuk shami no no. This kind of soki kopa bono nakachi abora na winki smak toma kuyami kusku chita ngai uchu afeni. Opa na opa mo kasa, yuba bato kanchi na tuka ulan, kinko inko ka, kinpa ni chaloda kun, tung abashun ni chunchi, ka kincha na wabagaon, chan waba chinlo, chan li chama ucha, wish ulong kun, kong ikwa machi. Konti chani, Mulira asyong turong umit patogaw ang kachonetize. Ikratog hato chichiya. Watayumakawa mahuhanek kipuna. Muna na'y kacho. Kimbano mulina na duwana. Tung kimbano kunek. Kabatumpa kun paliya mokata. Wanga kun bisking ba mulira. Kakinja na kuagbakon, kawatumpa kulpayiya potenya. La boda ni wengi smaktoma, wana kulbes jingpa marulira, tok jingbang non kek, tok ninja mulira rabes. Uba batu kochi. Tong nong bong jang yung yak. Ya, 
Hindi ato na chikong kapi. Chiska do sukigu ba na una na ikachu. Ang tuwing ko tu. To pa na pong kwalya gandong mga chuchut. Kaba chiku ita hotonga. Yala mo in kapun. Dilo ba mulira ni bobo. Wag ko kumpes ka kain. Ba 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 mulira. Ya to ka uluan chinko na ba mulira. Ra chikun. Mucha siya pangpa. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. <laughs> You fool! Your traditions are nothing to me! I am the wave of the future! If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me! I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <laughs> Possible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Well, maybe those bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize... Wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Valkas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. I may have been a prisoner, but a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force? But I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on you. You did try to save me, after all, even if it didn't go quite as planned. So let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the Ender Spire? The Republic, for one. I was a fleet commander, remember? 
but I don't want you getting all worked up over nothing. So tell me, do you have a plan to get off this planet? Karth Onasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. You cannot win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? My attitude. It strikes me that you are the one in sore need of an attitude adjustment. I happen to be in charge of this mission, if you'll recall. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. And here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... it's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. all my training cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace.